Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Holly from Hunter Ryan. There is my introduction. I'm not gonna bore you with a long one. I have two more boxes. You see the box that the two boxes we just did right there. Um, and now we're gonna have two more boxes of Shop Goodwill finds and auctions that I got from this past couple days. And I really do like finding stuff on Shop Goodwill. And people always ask me, like, you should do a video on how you how you do it and literally guys I I don't do anything special I just go on shop goodwill um I have a couple stores like because each shop good each goodwill um is a subsidiary like their own so by regions so like um West Palm Beach where people can get their um goodwill blue boxes um that is like West Palm Beach, um, Lake Worth. And I think there's like three or four like retail store stores in that. Um, and then like farther south, you have Miami, Fort Lauderdale, um, are the outlets. And then there's like five or six different retail stores. So like each of those regions, so that's like two regions near me. Each of those regions has their own store on Shop Goodwill. So, and it's labeled by which of the, it's usually an outlet, but like which of the outlets um, actually pulls and ships the, um, kind of like pulls and ships the items for them. So it's usually their main one. So, look at different ones i mean i got some really good stuff there especially like there's some that have like a re reseller specific and they'll have a lot they'll do a lot of lots and like you know five coach bags and then you're bidding on five bags instead of just one and then that way you're splitting out the shipping some of those you can get like two lots and they will put them in the same box but the most important thing is to look at the shipping label. Don't just say shipping estimate because basically when you're combining items, you need to check the shipping tab to make sure that that item is able to be combined. There's some items, some stores will not combine designer high end items with anything else because they don't want a chance of something else of yours damaging that higher end item um you know so you need to know ahead of time am i going to be able to combine all these items and then what is the shipping weight they have on the shipping ta table they're going to have the shipping weight and the actual weight and so you want to look at that shipping weight because then as you're adding things that you're bidding on you're wanting to try and make sure that you stay in groups of 20 pounds. In some cases, you can contact the seller and ask that say, you know, hey, I'm trying to combine these. I'm one pound over. Can you adjust my weight? And then it may take a couple days and then they'll, they usually will. And then that way you can get just one shipping thing. I have like a lot of these because I'll go on and over like a week period, um, I'll bid on items that like 10 of them are going to all end on this day at this time. 10 of them are going to end on this day at this time. And so they're kind of rolling over because maybe the first day I had only 15 pounds worth of things that I won, shipping pounds. So then I would wait because you have up to seven days to maybe longer, but I know you have seven days to go pick. No, you have 10 days. Yeah, I think you have seven days to pay after you win an auction. So then I'll wait to pay for those so that I can combine until the next day when the next round um, close out. So then that way. I can move five pounds from the second day into the first day 
to that's a full box now that second day how many pounds are left do i need to wait for another day or do i have enough to do one or two boxes for that day so that's kind of like my shipping strategy and buying strategy is sometimes i will decide if i'm going to bid on something or not based on the shipping weight um because maybe i only have like one pound that i need to for 20 pounds and I'm going to have to pay the same 13 or 20 whatever it is. Some of them now have gone up to like $20 for shipping. Let me see what this one is. Um, so like shipping on this one was $14. So that way that's spread out over multiple items instead of only having like five pounds away. So that's kind of like my shipping strategy and then as far as bidding on items i try to avoid items that there's already like a big bidding war going on and for the most part i try and stay for nice brands that people aren't fighting for and like clothes a lot of the the site, a lot of the stores that I go on, the majority of the bidders, it seems like for that store are only looking for like silver and gold and diamonds and stuff like that. So they'll just ignore and let go Gucci, Prada, um, Armani clothes. They won't even bid on them. So I'll get like a really nice pair of Armani pants for like ten dollars total altogether. You know the shipping, the handling, all that. That's the other thing to look at um, before you start bidding is look and see what that store's handling cost is. It's a per item cost. So you know I bought this. Um, I think my bid was five dollars for it. Well, I also had to pay four dollars handling. And then plus its portion of the shipping fee. So this little purse, I may have only bid $5 on it, but it actually cost me like $13. So those are things to keep in mind. Will you be able to recoup that cost? For me, you know, to be able to get $13 back, that means I have to sell it at minimum to break even like $18, $19. So that's the kind of thing that I have to think about when, or anybody needs to think about when you're choosing things. Remember, it's not just the auction cost that you're paying. You're also paying handling and shipping. So that's kind of my thing. I go, I stay out of the bidding wars. And then I find stuff like this that is freaking amazing. And nobody else is bidding on because they don't understand the value. Too bad it's got it's got the original hat band on it. Um, yeah, it's silver. It it's like a silver tone. Normally, most people um, will have, you know, especially when they have a more expensive hat. They'll buy like really like I had um, when I lived in Wyoming. I was also um, Miss Fremont County um, in the Miss America system, and um, it was kind of like a two first. So I was also Miss Fremont County Fair and Radio, um, and so I actually had a rhinestone studded hat band and. I, ad I adapted my tiara to actually go on my hat. So that was kind of cool. But the most important thing when you, I mean, obviously Stetson is most known brand. So obviously most people are going to be looking just to see if something's a Stetson. But, oh, a little sticky. So that little sticky pulled some of the, stuff off of the band on the inside so this one hasn't even shaped it doesn't look like 
maybe a little, yeah, it's been shaped a little, but not much. So, the most important things about a Western Wear hats is that, um, I'm sure you may have heard of, like, a 10X, Stetson 10X, um, the, the X's, the number of X's that a hat has is how much beaver fur is in it. So it's not just wool or felting. More expensive hats are, I'll say, beaver fur. And what you want to look for is, where you at? 10X. So in the back there of the label, you'll see it's got 10Xs and it says 10X right here. So that means that this has the highest amount of beaver it's a higher quality um hat um this is from superlin hats and it is a lamar so this is a really nice um this one does not seem now you always want to make sure that you're holding a hat uh, this one's big too and i have like a huge head I have a really big head, so this is a 15, um, it's a 7 and 3 eighths U.S. Clean this thing. This is really nice. I'm, I'm like kind of shocked there that it fits me. It's actually big on me. That's like kind of scary. So you have to have like a really big head for this hat because I have a pretty gigantic head. And it's big on me. But when you have a Setson, or like in this case, a really nice 10X, your ridge here to adjust and shape your hat, you'll actually use steam. You'll steam it, and then you can get your curl the way that you like it. I'm going to try and keep this one has a really nice, sturdy brow. Um, or crown. So this is a extremely high quality hat and I got it for a $2.99 bid. So I got, they didn't even have it marked up to begin with because a lot of times they'll like make nicer things like more expensive for even that first bid, like $10 for the first bid. Some things I've seen like it's like over 20 for the first bid. So that is all kinds of magic. And I'm going to actually keep one. What did you just do? Too? I'm going to actually keep one of these boxes. So when it's time to ship that, I will have a box for it. Okay, these things are amazing. They're really heavy, too. My dog's like spazzing. What is wrong, too? Is that just real leather? I think this is just saying real leather. Yeah, okay, so it says real leather. It has, like, the little... It's not a floor... Yeah, it is a floor de lis, but with a spike underneath. And this is called Pour la Victoria. Pour la Victoria. And, oh, my God, look at this. This is like so everything. I know my girl. Um, I was, why did I do it again? Elisa, Elisa, please don't kill me. Married Life. My girl over at Married Life, we call this a stripper shoe. It's kind of more an S&M shoe. Look at the chains on that. It's so nice. To heavy wood bottom chains, leather. My dog is like keeps jumping up, like popping up at the end of the thing. What? Come on. Okay, there you go. All right, just stay down there. No, go down on the bottom. You're down at the bottom so you're not by the clothes. He did just get a bath, though. So, but I don't like him to be anywhere near my clothes. I don't know. Maybe it's like rain. 
Chewy, it's not raining or thundering or anything. What's wrong? He's acting really scared. So this is what a Godzilla Yorkie looks like. This is a Yorkshire Terrier that weighs 20 pounds. Okay, so these are amazing. So, and, yeah, size 9. I was going to say they're a larger size. So size 9 leather and chains. Let's see what's that one? That one I probably paid up for because that one's kind of yay. Um, no, that was the same as the hat. So, so again, this is extremely high quality. They're made in Brazil. Brazil has Brazil and Argentina have great leather, um, just like Spain. Um, heavy wood. These are just gorgeous and because they're not um, Prada or whatever. And I've gotten Prada too. Right now I'm winning on a Prada. I hope it stays that way. Um, but to just have like these really cool finds that nobody's really, they're not looking to find like cool new things. They just want specific labels, gold and silver. You know, the rest of the stuff, they're letting all these amazing things go by. So this has really cute unicorns on it. And it's Alberto um, McCall. Alberto McCall. That's really cool. So it's Alberto McCall, size 8. And I did look this up, and it is actually... A higher end designer but you know when you're not like a designer that normal people know they just pass these things by this is like so amazing I mean look at the seaming on this it's gorgeous it's probably completely gorgeous um and it actually hooked Hook and eyes instead of zip. It is a size eight, um, and it is Alberto Macaulay, a hundred percent Dacron, and dry clean only, made in the USA. Interesting. So that is so cool. I really love that. Okay. Next find, I think these are Armani. Yeah, they feel like, yep, Armani. Giorgio Armani, size 38. Wool. Um, dress pants. And it looks like a zipper in the back and a button. So they're flat front. Pinstripe. Looks like it's brown and like kind of a gray grayish white pinstripe on black wool it's gorgeous I mean this is the stuff I find that like nobody's bidding on it's a, it's so amazing it's just amazing stuff that we're keeping from going into the landfills and somebody's going to love that and I'll pass it on and somebody else will have it on. It's great quality. That's the thing. It's not just about the label. It's about the quality. And with Armani's Collection, they're, I mean, pretty much all of the, the only thing that was kind of like lower, lower tier, I would say, is like um, some of the Imperio um, Armani things. So this is Harley Davidson. I don't know why I'm getting Harley still. When I've only sold a couple. So this is also Peterson's Harley Davidson of Miami. Really cute. Um, it It's a v-neck, but it does, it is going straight down. It is longer, which is nice, um, but it does not come in. So it is a unisex, really nice black with silver, Harley Davidson of Miami. 
The other thing, if it's not Converse, it's Coach. <laughs> These are awesome. There's like a very little wear at all. Look how cute these wedges are. I love this. These are amazing. Love them. Okay. Another pair of coach wedges. These are gold. Oh, look how cute these are. They're like a. So, this one does have some rub there on the front of the toe. Um, and I will. I have um, some gold leather um, paint that I can touch those babies up real quick and they will look just like new. They are so cute. Little wedge, coach, thong, tees. Um, these are, looks like a size six, I think is what it says. Oh, six and a half. And these are the Avalyn Sig, or El Elena, E L I N A, Elena Sig signature for that and they're six and a half medium and these are I got to look at these where are you at this is a little stiffer oh, man and it's really faint the printing on here um it is the jewel and it is a I'm a six and a half also. So this is the jewel. Six and a half. Alright. Got some more blingy shoes. And these are Spanish leather by um, Sergio Zeller. And I did look those up. That is another a well known Spanish leather designer. I love the folding at the toe. Nowhere. I'm not seeing anywhere on these toes. The bottoms look pristine. Look at that. Those look brand new. They may even have never been worn because you've even got the. This hasn't been like rounded out from someone's heel. So these may have never been worn. Um, size 8 medium and these are Sergio Zeller Zeller Zell Zelker okay Z E L C E R so sir on the end Zelser Zelser and all right how about we got another one more pair in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in here Gotta separate which ones are ready to shoot and which ones need a little TLC. Who knew my army days would come in handy? Oh, these are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I got these because they barely had any creasing here. They have just the tiniest bit um, of creasing, but it looks like that's actually the um the turn so it's like just a little bit of creasing that actually comes naturally to be able to give it the shape because those ain't been worn these have not been worn anywhere unless it's just walking around on some carpet these are size ten and a half and they are Samuel Windsor Ten and a half on the dog's head. Love the little. Um, let me fix that. Okay. So you got this nice little buckle accent on the front that is um, able to be adjusted. Gorgeous. So I will still probably 
Um, usually a new shoe like this, when you get it, um, and I don't know how many people actually do it, but you should actually strip it because there's actually kind of like a, it's kind of like a little sheen that's put on it so that it's to try and kind of keep it from getting banged up um in root but that's something that you want to get off so you can actually start getting wax into the leather because that's going to help the leather last longer be more water resistant just like all around really good for your leather so you should actually like do a saddle soap to clean it and then you can put it on a conditioner and then start your polish layers so I'll ask um, whoever purchases it if they would like it um, set up normally if if I just got these like cuz I think that's my son's size so if I had just gotten them for him I probably would have just immediately done the the strip and polish so just things to think about ladies you as well when you get leather shoes get some saddle soap clean your leather um with the saddle soap that can also um let saddle soap can also kind of be used as a conditioner but some of the conditioners that um i've seen people are using in the community are really good but then after that dries you want to start putting on your layers of polish because you do want to keep your leather supple and soft and covered with you know with some good wax in it um i have like the little beginner um spit shine quick video that i made for leslie at a uh, reseller fashion um, birthday thing of trying to get people to share tips and tricks and all of that so if you want to look at that um, that gives you the polishing it doesn't really give you the saddle soap but basically for saddle soap you're just going to get saddle soap um, and do the same thing like I do with the with the polishing you're going to pull like a diaper or for t-shirt material nice and soft you dampen that and then you pull up your saddle soap clean it off let it dry then you're buffing it off basically so, and then you can add another item okay so now this one is going to be four, five, six, nine. so this is nine items for $72 so this is another good budget box and this is super cute where you at babe okay so this is a lucky brand and it's just t-shirt material a little long sleeve it it has like the the gathered and it's got like a little button and then this has three little buttons down the front. Really cute. It's nice light, lighter weight. So like more of a transition for a layering shirt. So these babies are cute. They got a little bit, you know, of scuffing, but pretty much, yeah, at the back here, you can tell they have been worn. Um, the espadrille part is really nice and clean nice kind of a medium brown suede and these are j crew so super cute if you're wanting to you know if you live in an area like me or you're going on vacation somewhere warmer these are going to be great for right now, or they're great to grab them now for spring. Um, and, you know, I may not list them until 
December or something unless somebody wants them. That's the big thing, guys. Y'all have to remember, you know, I have health issues and stuff like that. So I'm not listing as fast as a lot of people do. That's why I like to do the haul videos. If you see something in a haul video, you want me to list, let me know, comment, send a me private message, whatever. Um, I think you'd have to do the message through um, Instagram, which is hunter underscore ryan underscore life so check that out if you want to send me a message and say hey i need you to list those lucky brand espadrilles that way i'll pull them ahead ahead of the line these are also super cute for you know like my kind of place or um so cute and these look brand new also not seeing any yeah so these are a gorgeous perfect shape little wedge um thong and patent leather super cute all right so this one's a biggie there is kremlin looking okay so this is new a tag and it is speechless kids i did not realize it was kids so that's part of this does not look like a kids uh, it's a size 16 okay so this is like for a junior's brand maybe this size 16 speechless you got cute little cross here Look at the skirt. So there's like a. You can wear that for um, a father daughter dance. For you know, a fancy birthday party, a sweet 16 party, maybe. Um, so this was new a tag. And it doesn't have a price. It's just the brand tag that's on it. So size 16, really nice light um, teal, teal. No, more like sea foam, like a super light sea foam. All right, these are so pretty. I am so excited about these, and I I can't even find like something. Look how pretty these are. So they're little mule slides with this gorgeous oriental design. You know, super low heel, also very Asian inspired. So cute. And these are Via Accent, size 11, brand new. Never worn never worn and those are great for this time of year if you still want to be comfortable but have something a little you know a little fancy on for your parties if you have a party it's kind of weird that we've got holiday season coming up and you can't really plan big family gatherings and stuff so that's going to be kind of a interesting look at like what we do worldwide for to celebrate holidays coming up all right these are so cool so these are americano handcrafted goods americano super quality clothing since 1975 these are really cute little tags um standard issue americana garment tag and a it doesn't have like okay so there are size six i think but look at the marbling so it's not like really a tie-dye it's more of like a paint it's not even a paint splatter it's kind of like just this marbling i love this color it's like super turquoise but then, you know, a lighter turquoise. That's so cute. 
I really like these so that um and they are all gone down I'm pretty sure that's cotton um Sussex it's made in Colombia made in Colombia interesting um trying to find anything in English this is like all in Spanish um Verde Negra. Verde Negra is black. Um, it's like green. Verde is green, but then the Negro, I would think, I thought that was black. Maybe it's dark, like dark green. Um, I took French in high school and I lived in Germany, so that's about all I'm going to be able to help you figure out. Um, but it was inspected by number 11. I knew that. So, made in Colombia. The Americana. Americano. Those are super cool. Alright. Next a victim. Uh, I, I'm like, sorry if this looks horrible to you guys, but this helps my back so much. Being able to sit in this to do these videos. Okay, these, I actually weighted these out. So that's another tactic I use in Shop Goodwill. Is if nobody's bidding on something and I like it. And it's like getting close to time for it to like end. Some of the um, stores that like I target will actually once the time runs out on the auction they'll add it back in for another 24 hours at a dollar obviously it's not a dollar because remember you still got the handling fee you still got the shipping fee so now you're looking more like seven eight dollars but if something was listed for 9.99 like these were and nobody was bidding on them, but I wanted them, but I didn't want them for, you know, basically that would have been like $17. Um, so I waited it out and when it came after the auction ended, it came back up for a dollar. Um, so I got them and these are new Tag King one, Munsing Wear. And they are a slim, Upgraded original size 32 waist. But these are so cute. But they don't sell super high. So they don't resell super high. Even though are really nice cotton and sometimes linen pants um, that they make. It's got a little dirt on it. Get off there. Um... So that's one of my other things is check and see if the store you're looking at, if you see a lot of buy it now and then they have like a dollar or some of them will do a buy it now um, for like more expensive things that didn't sell and they will have it for the higher price. But for the most part, the ones that I go to, if they didn't get auctioned um they pop up as buy it now this one little piece okay there we go they'll pop up as buy it now for a dollar so i'll just go ahead and wait them out if it's something i like that i really am not gonna pay the opening bid price if somebody's already bid out on it it's gonna go to them so just keep that in mind but if something's sitting there and it's not being bid on, you're getting close to time for the auction to end. If they if they uh, roll over, then wait. Wait it out and just be there to watch. Because you want to kind of look and see, like, where do they pop back up? Because you'll have, like, when you search that um, Shop Goodwill store... They're going to have, okay, this is how many pages of stuff they have listed right now. And then there's different times that they end. So, 
look and see like the the ones that I do like when they do those um, bring it in to buy it now they always do it at a 24 hour clock so you want to go where in your pages are um, auctions that are ending in 24 hours because that's where they're going to pop up so wait it out go there grab all the things that you were waiting out and then you get them for a dollar plus the handling and all of that so but less than what a basic order um thing is going to cost you so these are crocs these are super lightweight flexible just nice little kind of you know just throw on and go shoes and they are 7w light love it and the last item for the day is Dooney M Burke and this baby is big so this is a really nice big hobo Dooney M Burke got really solid um like belt level leather strap it is super clean on the inside. It's perfumed. So, but it's a nice perfume. It's not gag worthy. Um, pockets are empty. So it's got one zipper pocket and one like little side pocket. Um, it probably was supposed to be like for a phone, but my phone's a lot wider. This is really nice. So your leather and the com um, the canvas, but I really like the way they did the DMB on here. It's almost like it's three dimensional kind of. Super cute. Love. So that is what I've got for you. I'm now going to have to make my dog really upset with me, and um. But while I'm putting this away so that I can sit up and turn off the camera, um, since people are, keep asking me, you know, like, do, do a video on how I shop Goodwill, if you guys could ask, like, some specific questions, like, if you've actually been on there, but you're not really sure about what you're doing or something like that, just kind of like at least go on and um kind of look up look up your local store because a lot of that's a thing where you can save money too is a lot of the stores actually allow you to pick up so and you'll have like 10 days to go and pick it up um this particular store does not allow pickup and it would be a really long drive for me to pick it up anyway so that's why I have these shipped and I get those extra expenses of shipping. I do have like the bent, the outlets um, that I go to. Um, I do, I will also like if I know, okay, within the next 10, 15 days, um, we can go up to um, the mainland and do a little bin searching. I'll go ahead and look on, on their page and kind of go through and try and pick stuff that's ending like around the time that I want to go up or within seven days of the time that I want to go up and I'll just bid on that and then that way I will pay for it as a pickup rather than shipping so I'm going to save that shipping fee so look the best place to look first on shop goodwill is to look up your local goodwill so, you know, like for me, it would be um, Goodwill Fort Lauderdale. And so I'll go into the advanced search under seller. I choose under Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Click on there. Now I'm on the Fort Lauderdale page. Everything there can be combined if it was to be shipped, but I prefer to go and pick it up. So, you know, try and shop around. Remember that $20 limit for 
um, shipping. And then some of the stores also have a 30 pound limit, like a minimum 30 pound limit for pickup. So like some of them will have pickup, but you have to have bought at least 30, 30 pounds, their shipping weight, 30 pounds worth of goods for you to be able to go and pick it up. Otherwise they're going to charge you for shipping. So those are some of the highlights of things that I can think off the top of my head that would be tips and tricks for Shop Goodwill. But let me know, like go on your local one, look, look at what, how people are bidding, look at the things that are going through and closing. Are they coming back as buy it now for a dollar or not? Um, look, make sure you're looking at that shipping tab to see what the shipping weight is versus what the actual weight is. It, are you able to contact that store and have them adjust, um, shipping? Like sometimes that they, they like are crazy. Like I've had stuff that like this doesn't even weigh a pound and they're putting it as five pounds. And it's usually because it's a higher end item. So they're going to be using like extra bubble wrap and stuff like that. So they're charging it at a higher weight to account for that extra cost of the goods um, storage. So look at those things at your thing. Write down if you have questions that come up as you're doing it. That will help me help you. So just come. If you've got any questions, post them in your comment in comments. Um, as far as like how to get the best, you know, like the designer brands and stuff I have, I really honestly, I just look for sometimes a big one is to look for misspelled. 